Welcome to Enterprise Ireland's Big Ideas event. My name is Carol Gibbons. Since 2009, Enterprise Ireland has featured many entrepreneurs who have gone on to great success. Today, we'd like to show you three of those entrepreneurs. Patricia Scanlon from Soapbox Labs, Eric Risser from Artematics, and Kino Majin from Nearform. So let's get started. Our first company, based in Dublin, is Soapbox Labs. Patricia pitched her big idea in 2015. Let's see where she's at today. Soapbox Labs builds children's speech recognition technology. We have a cloud-based solution that works for kids age 4 to 10 up to 12. The reason we are doing this is because adult speech recognition systems don't work for kids and they work progressively worse for children the younger you go from age 12 down. Back in 2015, our market was for young children learning to read. I know what's available, I know what's coming down the line, I know what's currently available, I've been working on these technologies. We wanted to voice enable to perform speech assessments of kids in literacy and language learning products. And now we're looking at extending that market to be able to perform assessments for older children. So that's speech assessment, pronunciation assessment, voice enabling products in education, but also expanding that to command and control. So to be able to understand commands from children. And that could be for gaming, it could be for voice control for your Google Home type device. It could be IoT and it could be toys. We're now in our own premises here in Portobello, where the team was four back then. We're now eight, with another two in the pipeline. We plan to be growing again in 2018. Today, Soapbox Labs is very much a global company. We have investors from Ireland, the US. We've investment from Asia. We've got clients globally who are currently building out products that integrate our technology with a view to bring them out later this year. One of the most challenging things is always going to be the fundraising. But be creative about it and persevere. Perseverance is probably one of the, the things you need because there are challenges and there's constantly challenges. But it's a great feeling when you surmount them. So my advice for entrepreneurs pitching later today, start the process early of fundraising. People think that you need to start fundraising once you're about to fundraise. You don't. You can start that process, that relationship building much earlier on by attending events or just reaching out to all sorts of investors. How encouraging is this to see Patricia get investment on board, increase her workforce, and even get a key to her own office. So now let's move to Eric Rissar from Artematics, based out of the Greenway Hub in Dublin Institute of Technology. We've built an artificial intelligence system that can mimic human-like artistic creativity. Back in 2014, when we were first starting out, we were really focused on the movie industry. And then shortly after Big Ideas, you know, we went out into the world, we, we really did a lot of market research, we went to conferences, we had a lot of you know, interviews with potential customers, and we discovered that actually we were a much better fit for the video game industry. We want to be that for art, where we basically help you automate and proof read your art creation. The industry has evolved quite a bit since Artematics was first founded. Historically, all of this technology was really kind of science fair projects in universities and, you know, that's really where the company got its start because I did my bachelor's, master's and PhD working in a research lab, you know, on this topic. A ton has changed since we were first pitching to investors in 2014 at Big Ideas. Uh, back then we'd only raised about 100,000 euros and there were only two of us working full time in the company. Uh, since then we've raised uh, close to 3 million and there's 15 of us full time. A big part of the reason why I created Automatics was because I loved working in this space and there wasn't an industry for it yet and I wanted there to be. For any entrepreneurs pitching later, my key advice would be with whatever you're doing, just really stick with it. I think that the main attribute that sets successful entrepreneurs apart from, from non-successful entrepreneurs is really just tenacity. We recently got awarded a, an EU grant for one and a half million euros. We got rejected from this grant five times for at least two, two and a half years before we finally got it. Over the next few years, our plan is to continue growing and building products for, for new industries. In the next three to four years, everything's going to become shoppable online and through virtual reality. So all major furniture companies, all things that exist in the real world, everyone needs to kind of make a, a virtual reality shoppable version of it. There's really a lot of you know, opportunity there. Eric's story is a great example of how Enterprise Ireland wants to scale startups. They already have a reach into China, and I'm sure in the years ahead we'll go on to great and better things. 
So now let's take an opportunity to go down to Waterford and let's look at Nearform with Kino Magin. Nearform are the biggest independent Node.js specialist in the world. We developed the open source technology that powers the Node world, which is now a mainstream project in enterprise IT. Back in 2012, when Nearform was in its first year in business, we are pretty much just dealing with small startup companies and some companies in the local economy. We've had 120 people now, we're growing 100% year on year, and our teams go and help big companies adopt this technology so that they can be more competitive. When I pitched back in 2012, I remember one of the things I was talking about was that JavaScript, uh, the language, was going to be huge. Node.js has appeared in the last three years. It's a huge craze. It's one of the fastest, it is the fastest growing uh, web development technology in history. The technology itself took off uh, into the mainstream uh, in 2013 and we emerged then as the leaders in Europe and also some parts of the US. So our first major customer was NBC Universal, and then within two or three months of that, we got Condé Nast, who are the biggest independent magazine publisher in the US. And then following that, we got DPD, who are the biggest uh, parcel delivery company in Europe. It just started to explode. For Nearform, I think there, there are a whole load of factors involved in success. We bootstrapped the company from day one. We also had no funding, and so we were extremely tight when the company then started to get much bigger customers and the revenue started to grow, uh, we kept the same mentality. So we, we stayed lean all the time. Um, and that, that fundamentally, that's, that is a good way to operate any business. The people working in Nearform are responsible for writing software that's being used in every one of the major technology companies today. So IBM, uh, Amazon, Walmart, MasterCard, Apple, all these companies are developing systems using technologies that people at our company have built. My advice for anybody pitching at Big Ideas is don't rely on funding. Funding is not going to make you, make you have a business. Uh, getting out there and asking the hard questions as early as possible and meeting the customers as early as possible. It's enabling you not to delay the inevitable. You can delay the inevitable by raising money or doing other things like that. The best thing you can do is get on a plane, uh, go and ask the questions and don't waste time. In 2012, Keen took the opportunity to pitch a big ideas. Today, Nearform are an innovative company, leaders in their field with an impressive list of global customers. Thank you, Patricia, Eric and Keen for sharing your experiences with us. Enterprise Ireland continues to support them and other ambitious companies as they extend their reach into global markets.